Hi everyone, what you're about to see shortly is a demonstration of PPE for paramedics in Guelph and Wellington County, uh, just to prepare you for what you might see if you were ever to call 911 for a family member or a friend. Uh, when we come in, we dress in full protective gear because of COVID-19, uh, it doesn't reflect on you at all. We treat everyone uh, as if they are uh, suffering from COVID symptoms to make sure that we limit the spread of it in the community. So uh, it might look like a, a lot of scary equipment that the paramedics are wearing, but they're there to care for you and provide the same care we did before PPE. So um, if you see them, that's who they are underneath all the protective equipment. So I'm Paul Beauchard, Commander of Training and Regulatory Compliance with Guelph Wellington Paramedic Service, and I'm joined by Superintendent uh, Wyatt Morrison and paramedic Teresa Evans, known as TT. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating uh, PPE procedures for paramedics during COVID-19 for both donning and doffing of PPE. So TT will be applying the PPE, so you begin by determining if a gown or disposable coveralls are required. They should be donned first. Gowns should be put on with the opening to the back. The waistband and the neck band of the gown should be tied securely. Make sure you want this, not the rubber side next to you. Very hot. Wyatt will function as the spotter to tie the gown for TT, mm -hmm. as well as inspect it for any tears, rips, or breaches. Looking good. Oh, you got really, this is really always looking there. Good. 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 Once the gown is satisfactory, TT will apply an N95 mask to the specific style and size that she was fit tested on. It's imperative that the fit test be conducted so that the mask functions for the paramedic. She will cup the respirator in the hand with fingers at the nose piece and the straps hanging freely below the hand. She will position the respirator in place on the face and pull the top strap over the head so it rests high on the back of her head. She will continue to hold the respirator in place, making sure that it has a good seal, tightening up the straps to bring it in contact with her face. She will give it a fit test by exhaling into the ports and breathing in. Once it's clear, we have a good seal. It will be able to filter out 95% of 0.3 micron particles. For perspective, human hair is 50 to 70 microns. Dust and pollen is 10 microns. Smoke is one micron. Once the mask is in place, she will don her eye protection. So she will first put on a pair of over the glasses safety goggles. This protects the eyes from any droplets. She will then use a face shield that protects both the N95 respirator as well as the goggles from getting any particulate matter on it during coughing or sneezing or paramedic procedures. <laughs> Once the shield has been put in place and secured and tightened, TT will then apply her gloves She will make sure to tuck the cuffs of the gown into the gloves. Once this is all done, we will get Wyatt to again be the spotter, make sure that everything is in place where it should be. Perfect. 
Once the respirator is on, communication becomes very difficult, so it will be hard for our patients to understand our paramedics. If you could just say hi, TT, so they could see. Hi, TT. It is very, very difficult to talk in that. So once the PPE has been applied and the call is over, TT will need to go through the doffing procedure. Um, this is a very sensitive uh, time where we make sure that the paramedic is not contaminated by um, any of the particles that have ended up on the protective equipment. Um, so if you are wearing a gown, disposable coveralls, the first step is to unfasten or break the neck and waistband ties of the gown or unzip the coveralls overalls while still wearing your gloves. So she wants to untie. By okay. Now TT will demonstrate how you remove the gloves using the left hand to pinch the right glove near the top and slide her hand in and pull it off. making sure not to touch the outside. We would drop these into a bin uh, and then she would clean her hands with uh, sanitizing gel. She will rub them till all of it is dry and if you'll notice she has turned the top corners of her gown inside out so they are clean areas. So TT is now able to grab those areas and pull the gown down, inside out, down her arms to remove it without touching the inside. She will then again perform hand hygiene. She will then remove the face shield, sliding it up and removing it. She will again wash her hands because these are, or use hand sanitizer, these are um, contaminated surfaces. TT will then remove her goggles, again putting them in a contaminated bin. Clean her hands with hand sanitizer. And finally, she will remove her mask by grasping at the top of her head and pulling the mask forward, allowing it to fall forward. And undoing the strap at the neck, making sure not to touch the contaminated surfaces. And then she will use hand hygiene again. At this point in the call, TT would rehydrate, have a drink of water, don a new pair of gloves and clean the reusable portions of her PPE, which are the gown, the shield, the goggles, and the respirator. So we have clearly demonstrated the procedures for COVID-19 for paramedics. Um, this is our response to most calls currently. Um, it does seem very scary at first, uh, but we are there to protect you from being contaminated with COVID as well as our staff being contaminated from the patients that we see.